Good day everyone and welcome back to NS2HD. In this video I want to talk about something that I have neglected in all my hundred or so videos and that is ventilation systems or vents for short because the great thing about the Alien team in Natural Selection 2, well there's so many great things about the Alien team but one of the great things is their mobility. They can climb all over walls, they can fly, they can uh, they can blink from place to place. Take the Skulk for example. I am playing as a Skulk right now and I can run all over the walls and all over the ceilings and crucially I can get into these vent spaces. Vents are extremely detailed in Natural Selection 2. If you play Natural Selection 1 you will have played through many many vents, uh, basic 3D spaces but nothing like what you see in this version of natural selection. So I just went through the obvious vent that I'm sure everybody knows about between uh, Alien Start and Alien Expansion and now I've gone through a second vent which is down near the uh, starting harvester for the Alien team which leads to a space underneath tram tunnels on the Alien side of Tram Hub. So I'm just running around underneath that path. Above me is the walkway that Marines and larger Alien life forms can use to get around. And I'm just going to start taking different pathways to show off all the different vent systems. Now I know this is quite disorientating, but uh, if you watch it and then go and try it yourself, then you'll probably get a hang of what I'm doing. So this vent here leads into operations. And I'll run back in there and go all the way back. I think that operations, of course, looks over elevator transfer. So watch this video, and then I guess the idea would be to then go and play through tram yourself. So this idea, this video might show you some vents you might not have noticed. Here I am coming out into tram tunnels, and below me there is where I was before. And if I go back down the vent, I can get there as well. So that whole time I was accessing areas accessed by that single vent. And now I'm going to proceed to uh, proceed forward a bit to where there's a bit of a T junction. Uh, sorry, no, there's not. I just got disoriented myself. That's back to the starting harvester. So now into server room where there is a vent leading into operations uh, near the door here. So as I was saying, yeah, watch this video and then play through it yourself. So hopefully I show you some vents you might not have known about, and then you can go through and get orientated within them yourself. I'm sure in this video as well that I will miss some vents in Tram that exist that I haven't seen yet. So uh, please, if you see me missing a vent in this video, please tell me where it is in the comments and I'll be going and exploring it because I love vents, I love going through vents. There's so many interesting spaces in Tram to check out so I'd love to know if there's any I've missed. And now coming back out into tram tunnels. Uh, one thing about vents is they'll usually have the orange uh, double dash and dot at their entrance. So that's uh, a cue that I believe that uh, NS2 is using art-wise to cue players towards where the vents are. So all these vent entrances, they all have that double dash dot to let you know that it is a vent entrance and you can run around in there. So I am repeating a couple of these vents. I have gone into the same place a couple of times. Here I am looking over elevator transfer. But the idea behind that is I'm trying to help you guys get orientated if you've never seen these vents before. Also note how much space there is in some of these vents. There is enough uh, space to put entire bases. Here I am coming into underneath Alien Start. That's a confusing little vent, but the entrance is under the uh, cargo platform in Alien Start. There's so much room in these vents that the uh, alien commander, and gorges for that matter, could drop entire little bases in these vent spaces. And the prime candidates for that, I believe, are the crag, shift, and shade. I'm not sure what the shift and shade do, but I'm betting one of them has to do with cloaking, and of course the crag heals. So having them in confined vent spaces is a great idea because uh, they can provide their passive abilities and the marine team won't be able to get at them. So that's a great. this vent's great because it allows you to see down through its grate, ha ha ha, pun, uh, and down into where the marines are below you. So that's a useful vent when you're fighting in elevator transfer. Falling off the wall there for a moment and now running through this vent which I believe leads to uh, tram repair, sorry repair room, which is the double res node in tram. Yes it does, so coming out there. And now I'm going to go down into my favorite vent which is below the tram in that room. Sorry I didn't make it clear just then but I'm in the same room and I went underneath the tram and this is the giant secret room. I didn't even know about this room until about build 161 or build 162. Like I was that slow on the uptake with this giant room. I think this is the coolest cubby house for the alien team to hide in and build in and 
you know, do cool dynamic infestation-y alien stuff in. It's just so detailed. There is so much detail in this giant vent space. One of the entrances comes out between alien start and repair room. So the main entrance, well, the entrance I went through is under the tram in repair room. This entrance between marine start and tram repair. And now the final entrance is where this ladder is. Which is uh, which leads out onto marine? Sorry, alien expansion, and I do not believe marines can get into that vent at all. That ladder is useless for the marines because the vents are too small for them to get to anyway, and they're all raised off the ground. Now I'm over the marine start side of the map. There are less ventilation systems on the marine side of the map, and I think that's a pretty cool thing because what that means is the. Uh, sorry, I'm not over on the marine side. I was just showing. Trying to orientate again with the alien start uh, vent system there. The thing about the marine side is there's less vents, and I think that's good because it means that while there are some vents which lead to offensive locations, such as tram repair and, as you'll see in a moment, observation, there's not a huge network like there is on the alien side. And what that means is when you enter the alien side, you're going, to, as a marine, you're going to have to be a lot more scared of uh, small alien life forms popping out of the vents around you. This vent looking out on observation from uh, tram tunnels. And that's, so I think that'll be a great game changer. When you move on to the marine side, your game, sorry, the alien side, and as a marine, your game will change. You'll start to have to look out for vent spaces more, whereas on the marine side, they just uh, provide uh, offensive avenues for the alien team. So it's a great balance there. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this runaround. Please tell me if there's any I've missed, and I'll see you all soon for more NS2HD videos.